Most people in America do get fairly upset about rights violations. Rights violations are when you have violated the rights of another human being. We see minor rights violations almost every day when an employee is asked a question but a manager strolls up and takes over the conversation. That is a rights violation of the person who asked the question and a rights violation of the employee whose job it is to answer the question. In employee training, we start to teach boundaries to managers. Boundaries are if the employee solicits you for assistance, then you are invited into the conversation usually with the consent of not only the employee who needs the assistance, but the person asking and requesting. You see, many people shop at a store all the time, or they're very aware of your employee, shall we say, staffing, and they will choose who they are comfortable with talking to. Every person is different in America. They have privacy rights, they have medical rights, they have mobility rights, they have transportation rights, they have all kinds of rights. They have consumer rights shoppers rights for those of you who don't know what consumers rights are but consumers rights says we have the right to quality products at reasonable prices in america but since the time of covid many properties many property values that are vended by companies have increased their prices at the same time we know that some food that's on its way out is removed from a store and pushed to different type of discount stores it's still perfectly good quality food for anyone like me or you to eat. We also know that some foods have preservatives enough to cover when a truck gets stopped for too long during a lunch hour when it's carrying frozen goods. But we also know that company trucks have the way to carry frozen goods without them going bad. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about consumer rights to quality foods, safe, sanitized foods. But I'm also talking about employers' rights to fire you if you fail your job. You might have failed your job because no one trained you correctly. You might have failed your job because you're too stupid to follow the rules of your company. You might have failed your job because you're trying to staff your company with dumb fucks that you can feel superior to. And I apologize for saying it that way, but that is something that managers often do. They don't want to deal with anybody who's uppity or smarter than them and what a fool that is. Every good quality leader knows that you hire people that are smarter than you in different areas that are different than you. In America, we have to understand why people get hired. They get hired from their so for their social abilities with recruiters and HR directors. They are kept when they learn how to play in with their managers in their actual divisions or departments. They get fired when they screw around too badly inside the job with other interpersonal or interdepartmental people and openly that's usually when they get tired most people leave a job most attrition across the world is completely almost 100 percent at least 95 percent probably at definitely 85 percent caused by other employees in a company when you do not choose the right people for your company you lose when you don't choose the right partners in life you lose and you lose your rights. You lose your rights to all kinds of things. But people know what sort of things that violence brings. Violence and vanity bring difficulty for companies. Violence is the employee who plays like they're a good person during the day, but a bad, naughty person at night. And openly they do this without thinking about what could happen to their positions in their companies, what could happen to the future of their careers, because it doesn't take more than a few bad marks to not be able to find a job anymore. But then there's the lazy, who people presume is me, which isn't true. I've chosen to work a ministry right now. <clears throat> My ministry is not only talking to you, it's proving that social media companies are interfering with our rights to succeed. They pick and choose the authors, they pick and choose the movie stars, they pick and choose who they want to have the most exposure in the world today. That is a form of discernment on one side of the coin, but it's a form of censorship on the other side. And the individual that have been individually interacting with my videos is not my business partner. They are violent, vain individual who thinks they have rights to me, and technically, under every federal law, they do not. The liars of America play, I'm in charge of you. 
The liars of America said, I'm going to control you. The liars of America say, I'm going to steal from you. And the liars of America hurt you. The abusers of America play good friends and then they walk away to play with someone else in the end. The foolishness of them is what God will do to them and their children for failing to listen to the warnings of the Lord. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And what we know about life balance is that life balance begins with faith. Faith is the foundation, philosophy is the way, and frankly, it is your friendships and your social relationships that establish where your life goes and where it stays and where it plays. The truth is, if you've gone off to find yourself a millionaire, congratulations. But my guess is that you'll be spoiled rotten and you'll be facing Jesus with the plight of the fact that you shared nothing correctly with the people who are impoverished, like me and others. In America, we have rights, and our rights are being abated by police officers, ruined by communities, and destroyed by medical personnel. And I'm speaking solely for my life. Other people fight for different types of rights, civil rights, diversity rights, medical rights, religious rights. What I'm fighting for is everything to do with the United States Constitution and all the amendments, and absolutely human rights. In America, we have rights to speak our mind, and if this video cast, audio cast never gets seen, whose fault is that? Is it mine, or is it the social media company literally saying, we're not helping him today, we're going to keep him impoverished today, we're going to keep him poor today, because we are in control of our technology and no one else can touch us, not even the federal government today. In America, we have rights. The rights that I have are my rights, but the rights you have are solely to you. And when you crossed the line and took your hands into my pockets and stole things, you gave up your own rights. Because you aren't doing to others as you'd like done to you. You are doing to other people what you don't want done to you. In life, we have moments of time to prove yourself before God. And when you say, I'm not going anymore, my question is, how far did you go when you got there? Did you stand before the person that you've sinned against and apologize? Did you stand before that person in submission to God and take away your vanity and your violence? Or did you continue to vandalize? Did you continue to thieve? Did you continue to cheat? And then did you continue to lie about it to everybody that you've been gossing about it to? In America, we have rights. Consumer rights are that I have the right to buy in your store without you telling one fucking person what I'm buying. And consumer rights are privacy rights. Just like any other aspect of our financial endeavors, it is often private to us and not public to your community, to your boss, to your colleagues at work, or your teams in your corporations.